Eastern Time Start, and the game will be televised on ABC. Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to tell us how your uh, open week went as you prepare for the uh, non-conference finale against Ole Miss, please. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we had a good bye week, got some good work in, um, began some preparations for Ole Miss. Obviously, we've got a tremendous challenge, tremendous challenge in front of us uh, with our last non-conference game, and then we kind of jump uh, full board into conference play. So we had a good week of work, and we certainly needed it. Uh, and looking forward to getting to Saturday. Take questions for Coach Fuente, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. We'll hear from Brian Moss with Tiger TigerSportsReport.com. Hey, Coach. Uh, first question is just kind of a lighthearted question, not <laughs> trying to get you in trouble, but with you being ranked in the coaches poll, not yet in the AP poll. Uh, does that prove that coaches know more than the writers? <laughs> uh, I don't know what it proves. <laughs> I know that, uh, <laughs> um, you know, obviously it's nice. Um, those things can be fleeting. They don't keep you up there if you don't win ball games. So we certainly understand that. We It has not been a huge uh, source of focus for us in the last week. Yeah, and you, I believe uh, you, uh, the students uh, are, were just lining up, you know, for tickets, and you brought them donuts. How important is it to have a, a, you know, a great turnout for the student body? Well, our our student uh, tickets are sold out, or at least that's my understanding, uh, which is a, a pretty neat accomplishment for us here. Um, you know, obviously the kids were lined up early this morning. Some of them stayed the night last night. Uh, to wait in line to to get their tickets. So, uh, you know, we want to try and be a tangible program. We want to try and be out there in the community, and and obviously our students are are a big part of that as well. So, it was great to see them out here, out there this morning, and all excited and getting ready for Saturday. And now, when you take a look at this game, um, you know, past few games, I believe you guys started off just a little slow. Is it important for you to come out to a fast start, or what were you looking at in the beginning of the game? Well, I'd like for us to play a little better early in the game. I'd like for us to kind of calm down a little bit, play with a little more level head. Um, and I don't know that that will guarantee that we start fast against a team this good, you know, but just as the head coach, I'd just like to see us, uh, you know, play play a little more – under control early in the game and you know that's part of the message we've been preaching i know our kids will be excited to play in this one and that's going to be harder said than done but i um you know and i don't know what that'll result in score wise i just i'd just like to see us play a little better a little better than we have uh early in the season early in the games yeah appreciate it and good luck you bet thanks ted lewis with new orleans advocate yeah, Justin, uh, you sort of touched on it, but could you just talk about how big this game is for your program, considering where things were when you came in, and and also for the conference. Uh, when when uh, Memphis went into the conference, it was still the Big East; it was in transition. What can a game like this mean for the image of the conference? Well, uh, you know, first of all, I think our league has done a pretty darn good job playing quality opponents outside. Uh, outside the league and been very competitive against them. Uh, you know, for us personally, it's it's the next ball game. You know, it's a chance to get to six wins, chance to get bowl eligible. Obviously, <clears throat> we're playing a fantastic team from the Southeastern Conference that's got close proximity to our campus. So that, you know, there's some other intangible things that go along with that. But, um, you know, I think it's important for our league to try and put our – our best foot forward uh, outside the league and try to continue to earn uh, some respect on a national level. Um, that doesn't always mean winning every game. It just means, you know, trying to trying to uh, put a good product out there. Good man. Thank you. And do you have any other questions for Coach Fuente, please? Star one on your telephone, if so. Coach, well, thank you for your time today. I look forward to hearing from you again next Monday. You bet. Thanks. Okay.